This paddle wheel is gonna take someone down tonight on Dog Eat Dog. to Dog Eat Dog. Any of our contestants could leave the studio tonight with $25,000. But to do so, they must exploit everything they know about their opponents. To give our players the chance to size each other up, we sent them away to a training camp where we tested their physical, mental, and social skills. Think of it as getting to know your enemies, or at least what they've chosen to reveal. This should be the easy part. I'm very competitive, actually. You wouldn't think so, but when I have a task to complete or something to do or a challenge and I think I'm gonna win money, then I get this adrenaline rush and I'll put every seat of my body into it. Get off me! I don't think the group really pays much attention to me because they didn't even cheer for me when I was doing that climbing thing. I made it. I think the group doesn't see what's coming for them, but I'm coming with a lot of hurting, brother. Yep. I have to come down. <laughs> I'm not saying as much as they are. You know, I'm just trying to be more attentive to what's going on rather than say what my strengths and weaknesses are. I cheated! If I reach a crossroads where it's time for me to basically uh, screw someone over that I've got a relationship with, that's just the nature of what's going on here. <laughs> there is some bonding going on with the women. I think that I'm bonding actually with Kim. Uh, Kim is really smart, and I really appreciate she's really um, observant. No idea. I'm bleeding! I hit my head! <laughs> you know what? I can be intimidated, man. Because people, when they first look at me, they think I'm like some crazy tough guy, and uh, you know, I like to uh, let them, people know that I'm really a nice guy. Before, after. Here's how the game works. In each round, I will show you a challenge. Then you guys vote for the person that you think is most likely to fail. Whoever gets the most votes has to face that challenge. If you fail, you're off to the dog pound and you've just kissed away your shot at 25 grand. But if you succeed, it's time for revenge because you can send anyone who voted for you to the dog pound in your place. Got it? Let's play dog eat dog. Tonight's first challenge will test your climbing skills and your ability to weather a storm. We're going to put you up on that enormous net where you'll be pulling flags to release the rigging. And you're going to have to fight the elements to make it across. It's time to choose the loser. Kelly, who did you vote for? Kim. Amos. Jason. Kim. Lewis. Lewis. Kelly. Ah. Mona. Jason. Two votes, Jason. <laughs> Who did you vote for? Lewis. Two votes for Jason. Two votes for Lewis. Amos. Yeah. Why did you vote for Jason? I voted for Jason because I see a pool there, and I saw him do a cartwheel into a pool once before, and he. Doesn't look like he's too confident with himself around the water. Jealousy is not going to get him anywhere. <laughs> I want to know about the cartwheel. Is that true? Yeah, it was the best car. It was more of a round off. It was uh, super cool. <laughs> Kim, why did you vote for Lewis? Well, I voted for Lewis because when we were doing the wall yesterday, once he got to a certain height, he seemed to have a bit of a difficulty. What if that was part of his strategy? Then I'm wrong. But I don't think it is. Well, in the event of a tie in round one, the deciding vote goes to a player who was randomly selected before the start of the show, which in this case is Kelly. Oh. Kelly, who uh -huh. is it going to be? I'm gonna go for Lewis. Oh. Lewis. Yes. Yes. Don't run. I don't mind you. You know, I voted for you. Yeah, and, I wasn't even thinking about know. that. I just want to see your horns flop. Lewis, are you ready? Absolutely. <laughs> Please come with me. Go, Lewis! All right, Lewis. What kind of response do you normally get from people when you go out like this? Mm, chicks dig it. They do? Yeah! And guys? I don't care run. about guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's what you have to do, Lewis. You're going to have two minutes to climb across this netting and unhook all seven of the trips by pulling the flags. If you fail to unhook all seven, you're off to the dog pound. 
But if you succeed, you get to send either Kim or Jason to the dog pound in your place. Got it? Absolutely. All right. Let's go ahead and set the net zero countdown clock to two minutes. All right. Okay. Your challenge will begin when I say go. Okay. Let's go ahead and get you into position. All right. Then I'll start the storm. <laughs> Let's start the storm. Three, two, one, go! Pulled it and then uh, I guess I skipped one and I had to go back. I didn't see that I skipped one, but I thought I was gonna, was gonna fall and I was hanging on the one. I'm like, hey Brooke, make him horny again. Oh, Amos wow. is concerned that your horns are down. There's a limp factor <laughs> happening here. Still standing. Still standing. This is my, my sad look. This is your sad look. Yeah. You know what this means. I'm in the dog pound. The first seat in the little dog pound over there has your name on it, Lewis. It's gonna be a nice wet seat. Don't forget, at the end of the game, we do give you and the rest of the dog pound one last chance to come and steal the grand prize away from the top dog. Woohoo! Good job. Thanks. Our next challenge will test your balance and your determination. We're going to put you up on that contraption and start whirling it around in circles. You have to crawl to the end of each arm and pull the flags. One of you might get a little dizzy. It's time to choose the loser. Someone's going out on a limb when we return. Let's see who you've picked. Kelly, who did you vote for? I chose Amos. Okay. 
Amos. Amos. <laughs> Amos. <laughs> Mona. Mona. Kim. Kelly. Okay. Mona. Kelly. Two votes, Kelly. Jason. Mona. Oh. Two votes, Kelly. Two votes, Mona. We have another. Hey. <laughs> Amos. Yeah. Why, Mona? I voted for Mona because yesterday we did a lot of riddles, and she would always pretend that she never heard the oh, riddle. Oh, shut up. Shout out because the answer. You the so you voted for her because you got annoyed by her. It has nothing to do right. with her physical ability or, like, how is she with... Right. This is just like a... This is me attacking her personally. <laughs> I just want to hear this. Kim? Oh, I was just, gymnast. I was I just being it. true. I was stating that I didn't assess your ability. I well, don't think you can. I like the head whip. Well, I, well, I, I voted I for Kelly. Oh, hey, did? man, I'm yeah. not taking it personally. No, ding, girl. Oh, uh -huh. yes, Why did you vote for Kelly? I voted for her because I thought she would be the smallest and since it's spinning around that she, you know, she's the lightest. She well, she was a gymnast, longer. so we might be wrong. In the event of a tie here on Dog Eat Dog, in anything other than the first round, the deciding vote happens to go to the player who was last sent to the dog pound. And here I'm feeling like such a loser. And you should be because you have the deciding vote. Now, should it be Mona the Riddle Runer? <laughs> or should it be Kelly, the person that voted me off? I, I think I'm gonna have to be vindictive. Imagine that. So I, I think Kelly's gonna be kicking yeah. off. Yeah. 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 I'm, not, I'm not scared. Yeah. Well, Kelly, you sent Lewis out to weather the perfect storm, and now he's sending you Payback. out on a limb. Are you ready? I'm ready. Please come Good with luck. me. At the end of each arm is a red flag and a blue flag. Your job is to collect all of the blue flags first, then all of the red ones. You must return to the center with all eight flags in order to win. Got it? I got it. We'll give you two minutes to do it. If you leave any flags hanging, you're headed straight for the dog pound. If you successfully complete this, you'll be sending Mona or Kim to the dog pound in your place. Mm. <laughs> I'll think about that one spinning. There you go. Let's put those two minutes on the net zero countdown clock. Your challenge will begin when I say go. Three, two, one, go!
so weak. Oh, I can't even lift my arms. I feel, did I do it? You completed it well within the time limit. That thing was tossing you around. I thought it was not going to be able to make it that last one. It was thrown against the side. I couldn't believe it. I was you exhausting. I'm like, no. I did not go this far going to the center. So yes, I feel fantastic. <laughs> about um, all things yes. when you were up there? In that last 18 seconds, I had time to think. Oh. And I think it's going to be Kim. I don't know. Why Kim? Well, because she's going to make enough, enough money being a lawyer, so why does she need 25 there grand? True. Congratulations, Kelly. Kim, you're off to the dog pound. Yeah. Kelly, have you had a chance to catch your breath? Yes, just barely. Congratulations on completing out on a limb and sending Kim to the dog pound as our number two. The next challenge is quite a fun one. It's called He or She and it'll put your powers of perception to the test. We're going to show you a group of six lovely ladies, but only one of them is actually a woman. Your job is to pick her out of the group. Somebody's about to take a walk on the wild side. It's time to choose the loser. One of you will have to undress these lovely ladies with your eyes when we return. <laughs> Let's see who you picked, Kelly. Mona. Oh. Amos, who did you vote for? Jason. <laughs> Mona? Jason. Oh, Jason, who did you vote for? Amos. Oh, two votes means Jason's going to be playing he or she. Let's find out why. Amos? I don't think he'll be able to do it because I don't think that he gets too many girls. Oh. <laughs> And so oh, when a God. real one happens to be in front of him, he will have no idea. I've... <laughs> Are you going to say that too? I think that of all of us, maybe the three of us are more in touch with our feminine side. So I was thinking maybe he would not know. If I had a feminine, feminine. side, I, I would touch that side very often. Yes! Well, Jason, can you tell a man from a woman? I'll do my darndest. <laughs> All right, well, we're about to find out. Please right. come up here with me. All right, Jason, we're going to give you a little hint from each of our models, and we'll see if it helps. Are you ready? <laughs> Model number one, please step forward. Hi, my name is Jay. Wouldn't you like to know my ancient Chinese secret? Whoa. That's number one. Model number two, please come forward. <laughs> I'm Morgana. Yes, Prepare to are. take a peek inside my basket. <laughs> Speechless. I'm completely speechless. Model number three, please come forward. Oh. Hi, I'm Deandra. Let me hypnotize you with my black magic. Oh. I, need, I need something to strap myself down a little here. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, I'm a, I, if I said what I was just thinking, then I would be in trouble if that's a man. <laughs> <laughs> Model number four, please come forward. Hi, 
I'm Daisy. Always open 24-7 for you. Oh, hi. Oh, sassy. Oh, that was unbelievable. Model number five, please come forward. Smoke it. Hi, I'm Vivian. Man or woman, wouldn't you like to know? Possibly men. Next one, I guess. Model number six, please come forward. Hi, I'm Avita. When I see something I like, I'll just snatch it up. That's great. So one of these. Talk to me about what you see over there. I don't know. I, I'm a really confused little boy. I honestly have no clue about any of these. I'm all, I got a little idea You're about the last one, though. The last one, I, I got a little idea. Look at that rump. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's uh, number six. I definitely don't think number six. Okay. I don't think it's number one. All right. N number two is not a woman. I wish number three was a woman, I'll tell you that. I just like that, the whole, you know. Yeah, that's a thing right there. Keep doing that, keep doing it. I don't, number four, I would say no. Number five is really well done. Oh, uh, man, that's horrible. I wish it was number, I don't know. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, number, all right, here we go. Uh, no, n n number three. Three in the flower dress. That's the one you're picking. That's not a woman. Number three. Are you ready to find out? Yeah. If you were right or wrong? Yeah. Will the real woman please step forward? Let's find out what's going to happen next. Our next challenge is the bungee claw, and it'll test your timing and your nerves. We're going to hang you from the ceiling upside down over the water. When we drop you, you'll fall head first into the tank. Once you hit the water, you'll have to grab some targets to stay in the game. Somebody might not be able to handle the head rush. It's time to choose the loser. We'll see who's going to be hanging from their ankles when we return. One of you is going to bungee from the ceiling and try to grab some rings. Let's see who you've picked. Kelly, who did you vote for? I voted for Amos. Uh -huh. Amos? I voted for Mona. Mona, who did you vote for? I voted for Kelly. Oh, my God. Mother Ty, and you guys now know what that means. The deciding vote goes to Jason. <laughs> yeah, you guys should be very nervous right now. I think we're going we're gonna to need Mona over here. Oh, no. How do you feel about that, Mona? Well, I'm going to do it, and then I'm going to have to make Amos leave, and then because he voted for me. So, and then it'll be me and Kel. At least she controls her own destiny. There you go. So I'm straight. Who's I'm sorry, Skywalker. Amos, that you had to go, because, you know. Ooh. Mona, it's time to take on the bungee club. Please come with me. How do you feel, Mona? I feel good. So you think you can do this? Yeah. 
The dog pound really wants you to come and join them. Is that going to happen? I love them, but it's not happening this time. So Amos <laughs> should be very, very scared right now. Amos is going to go home. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I hope. Pretty I confident about that. Definitely. I'm going to do it. We'll see how you do. Here's how it works. What's going to happen is we're going to hang you by your ankles and give you three drops into the tank. You have Good. to come up with a total of four rings. If you fail, you're off to the dog pound. But succeed, and you'll be in the head-to-head -head challenge. Wonderful. Understand? Completely. Ready to get into your bathing suit? No, but I'm ready to do this. <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately, they go hand in hand. All right, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get you uh, in your suit and all rigged up, and we'll see how you do. Thank you. Are you ready for your first drop? Oh, okay, yes. Three, two, one, go. Bravo, you got one ring. You have two more tries to get a total of four rings. That was sweet! <laughs> Mona, this is your second drop of three. You need three more rings to keep yourself out of the dog pound. Got okay. it? Got it. Here comes two. Ready? Woo! Three, two, one, go. Yeah! Shoot. That's two rings out of four that you need. That means on your final drop, you have to get two rings to keep yourself out of the dog pound. The pressure's on. This is your final drop to stay out of the dog pound. Are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. feel before you went into your third drop? So I was like, oh, no, I need to get this, I need to get this. And they're like, focus, focus. I'm like, focus. And so I just stared at the two rings that I wanted, and you got them. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. That was awesome. Really. That was unbelievable. The dog pound's a little sad not to have you, I think. But you look pretty happy in sending Amos over there. Kelly, come and join us. is that you just completed a really difficult stunt, and you completed a really difficult stunt by completing out on a limb. A more difficult stunt. And, yeah. and oh. actually, <laughs> yeah. oh. Well, Mona, Kelly, you know what this means. You guys are going to be facing off head to head on a giant paddle wheel in our tank right when we come back. <laughs> which means it's time for a head-to-head -head competition to determine tonight's top dog. You're fighting for who stays in the running for the 25 grand. In just a few seconds, we're gonna start the rain and start spinning that wheel. Whoever falls off first is in the dog pound. Anything you wanna say to each other before we start? It's gonna feel good winning. <laughs> That's all. Kelly, what are you say? Ladies, your challenge will begin when I say go. Let's start. The rain. Three, two, one, go!
lost my. I don't know. I just slipped. I just slipped the hell off. I don't know what to say. Does that have to do with the rain? I lost my traction, and I started clawing at the wheel. money yet. You know what happens now. We're going to send Kelly to the dog pound and she and the rest of the dog pound are going to have one last chance to come and steal away your 25 grand. They could be splitting it amongst themselves and you might still be going home it's with nothing. Okay. All right. Let's get you off of there, dry it off you. and ready for tonight's final challenge. Congratulations, Mona, on being tonight's Thank top dog. You. you certainly deserve to be standing here. You conquered the bungee claw. Oh, you won the head-to-head -head competition. Well, here's how the final challenge works. I'll give you a category, then you pick which member of the dog pound is least likely to answer a question in that category correctly. If they get it wrong, you get a point. If they get it right, dog pound gets a point. First to three points takes home all the money. Okay. Got it? And remember, once you pick someone, you can't pick them again. Okay. Are you ready to see the first category? I am. Let's put the first category up on the Circuit City big screen. Food and drink. <laughs> Who do you think will be least likely to answer a question about food and drink? Not the bartender, not the person who loves gourmet food. So I'm going to have to choose. I'll choose Jason. Jason, please stand up. He's a master at food. <laughs> I've been on diet for a couple of weeks now. Are you ready for your question, Jason? I'm ready. The category is food and drink. Your question is, the slogan, twice the caffeine, appears on the cans of what Wet Planet brand of cola? Wow. Twice the caffeine. What brand of cola? Um, you know, I, I think I know the guy that actually did the design for the can of it, and I, I could be completely off my rocker. But, uh, man, I'm, I'm going to say uh, Jolt Soda. Your answer is Jolt Soda. That's correct. The correct answer is Jolt. Ah! One point for the dog pound, zero for Mona. Are you ready for the next category? Yeah. Can we please see the next category? Sports. Um, I'm gonna pick Kim. Kim, please stand up. Why Kim? Well, I'm not gonna pick any of the guys because they've been talking about it. And then um, <laughs> Kelly's a gymnast, but I don't know if she knows anything else about anything else? Do you know much about everything. sports, Kim? I like baseball. Are you ready? Yes. The category is sports. Your question is, what first name is shared by legendary Packers coach Lombardi and WWF co-founder McMahon? Oh. I know this. Oh, I know this because there's a his whole speech he gave. I've read it a million times. And... Oh. Damn it, I know this. It is so on the tip of my tongue. Oh. The only thing that I can come up with is Bob. Your answer is Bob. <laughs> The correct answer is Vince. Oh! oh. One point, Mona. Oh. One point for the dog pound. Why was he thinking Bob Lombardi? Woo! Are you ready for the next category? I'm ready. Can we please see the next category? Famous people. Oh my gosh. All right, I'll pick Amos. Amos. 
You don't think trouble. Amos knows about famous people? No, it's what? just that I know he surely does. Do you know much about famous people? Um, uh, I, I guess that's all relative. I don't know what kind of foods they eat and stuff, but I can tell you uh, a couple of famous people. You know Tom Cruise. So. Here we go. I'm, you know what? I will say that I'm excited to be actually taking him a part of <laughs> some of the gaming today. Welcome, Amos. We're glad to make you feel a part of the family. Now. Here's your question. All right. As first quoted in the Washington Post, which pop artist coined the saying, in the future, everyone will be famous for 15 minutes? No, it's not Vince. All right, uh, I think I'll answer. My answer is Madonna. Correct answer is Andy Warhol. <laughs> Two points for Mona, one point for the dog pound. Choose this next person very carefully. If they get it wrong, you're taking home $25,000. Are you ready to see the next category? I'm ready. The next category is movies. Oh, good lord. Who's it gonna be? I'm Kelly? Kelly. Lewis? Kelly. Kelly. Lewis knows everything. Why Kelly? Just because you're afraid of Lewis. <laughs> yeah, Lewis scares me. Kelly, are you a big movie goer? So so. So so. She is. The last 25 years. <laughs> Your question, Kelly, is what actor played the title character in the feature film Crocodile Dundee? <laughs> I can see him. <laughs> I can taste him. Um, shoot. Okay, I have to think for a second. Mona, you have two points. Okay, please be a science question. Science. Lewis, please stand up. This is for the twenty-five thousand dollars. It's a lot of pressure on the kid. Good luck, horns, guys. Good luck, horns. Good luck, horns. Good luck, horns. Good luck, horns. I'm good and bad. If you get this Good answer correct, you and the rest of your friends will split the twenty-five thousand dollars. If not, Mona takes the twenty-five all on her own. Are you ready for the next category? I am. Can we please see the final category? History. Oh, great. You know everything. <laughs> Are you ready for your question? Well, I am the, the oldest one, so I, know. I have more history. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The category is history. For the $25,000, who was the first African-American justice to serve on the U.S. Supreme Court. <laughs> Would have to be the hard one for me. I mean, I could stand here and think of uh, for five minutes and I'm not gonna be able to think of uh, any other uh, one, uh, the only thing that comes to my mind is Rehnquist. Your answer is Rehnquist. Yeah. The correct answer is Thurgood Marshall. Oh.
It's a nationwide phenomenon. We are here today. We are here to win. Thousands are heeding the call of a lifetime. Jesus, you know all this stuff. You need to share it with the world. We're Bible dorks, and so this is like the perfect game show ever for us. A chance to be a part of television history. Watch out, y'all. We're bringing it. It's a good game for a great cause. The American Bible Challenge premieres Thursday, August 23rd at 8, 7 central, only on GSN. If you don't know your Bible, you haven't got a prayer.